see, look how rude these assholes were. They saw a strange man break into their house in the middle of the night. First thing they do is assume I'm a bad guy. Ugh, fuck. And how come I never learn my lesson when it comes to organizing this fucking shit? This is just starting to get ridiculous with the amount of items I have from just mods I just haphazardly download all the fucking time. Too scared to, like, uninstall anything in case the save file just gets fucked. I'm too lazy to even, like, learn how to back up the- back up the save file, too. Anyway, I keep finding upstart alien empires all over the galaxy, and I don't really like that. I'm kind of in the mood to go stomp out some problems before they become bigger problems. Cause unlike in real life, I'm kind of on top of things in Starbound. I don't really just sit around and let things fester before they become greater issues. And isn't that the point of video games? Live out a fantasy? Seeing the tooltip pop up, have I been pronouncing Arach Arachnus wrong? Cause I just noticed there isn't actually an N in it. I just realized that maybe it's actually pronounced Ericus? Erichus? Holy fuck, I feel like a dumbass now for say- For saying Arachnus for the better part of a- Of two years. Let me tell you, it's pretty unreal to see- See how the channel is blowing up though. But just getting a thousand views, I could already feel the, like, ego dripping in. Like, I've already fantasized about sending my fans to go lynch and harass people who disagree with me. Oh, Dark planets. Everyone in the system goes and shops at, at Hot Topic. Oh man, this is really unfortunate that the alien diversity on your crew really isn't gonna save you. Bullets don't really care what you are. They only care, care if you're alive or not. Kaboom! Kaboom! See, bullets are the ultimate equalizer. They don't care what you are, where you come from, personality. It's just kind of treat everyone equally. Yo, planet where the sun never rises. Hey, what the fuck is that? That looks like a rising sun to me. I guess the computer was wrong about this fucking planet. Yeah, it's really unfortunate that you say acts of aggression won't be tolerated. Cause I'm actually here with an aggressive mind. STORM THEM! Oh, come on, they're oppressing you. Think of this more as liberation. KILL THEM! KILL THEM ALL! In a way, I'm kind of liberating you from being an alien. Hey, what's up? Ow! Ah, oh, great. This planet's off to a great start. Look at this shit. Uh, see, th stuff like this is what is why it's better to just go to a planet and just start shooting people left, right, and center. Like the fucking welcome party to this planet is a is a Cthulhu statue and blood crazed cultists for fuck's sake. This is kind of what I mean by putting down problems before they become bigger problems. I don't want to be flying through the galaxy one day and see the manifestation of man's incomprehensible knowledge of the universe stomping around. Oh yeah, just lag my game harder, daddy. That's exactly what I fucking love about this game. Whoa! Who the fuck taught you manners? You know, there's really not a whole lot of humans left. Let alone xenophobic humans. We should probably be banding together. You know, it's not like our viewpoints were very popular before- Before Earth went to shit and our species went on the endangered list. But I've been over this. You guys aren't even the right type of xenophobic. You're the type that just hates anyone who's not within your small niche little group. I'm more of a unifying against a common enemy xenophobe. And unfortunately, my words are backed with stronger arms, therefore proving that I'm correct. Also, I'm going around claiming to be the USCM, and you assholes will probably take me to court over a copyright infringement. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's this fucking jungle dweller? I hope you weren't on good terms with those humans I just all shot and killed. 
Oh yeah, if you're unarmed, you are definitely paying tribute to those fucking guys. Fortunately, they're all dead. But you're gonna have to start paying tribute to me. Ah, oh, you're broke. Alright, you're on your own. Now let's see who gives a shit about you now. Certainly not gonna be these assholes. Oh yeah, right when I thought it couldn't get any worse. It's just a fucking Halloween witch's house. Well, I hope that witch wasn't too emotionally attached to those bats. I really hope that witch is more of a witch who just ends up smoking in the back of class. Their magic is kind of all for show and doesn't really do a whole lot, it just makes them feel good. Oh my god, this place is lovely! It rains butterflies! You can't hate a planet that rains butterflies. Look at that, and they've got dodo birds who know how to fly. They're vulnerable to being shot, too? This is incredible. Oh yeah. This is what I'm talking about by strange shit. See, look at all these status effects. Oh wow. Al strange ass alien worlds never seem to stop your kind, huh? Uh, yo, why are you blue? Aren't you supposed to be purple? Okay, and unlike your predecessor, your fucking brother, you're actually kind of highly resistant to gunfire. What did I do to piss you off? Just land on your fucking planet? Well, I'm here to let you know you don't swing the biggest dick around anymore, bud. Now that I'm here, you don't really get to call the shots anymore. You there, tell me about your planet. Alright, yeah, if that's all you can tell me, I guess you're not gonna be much use. Oh, hey, cowboy pe- Aw, oh, great. Hostile cowboy people. See, maybe I wouldn't be a xenophobic piece of shit if the galaxy was a little bit more friendly. If I didn't have to perform midnight raids to go kill a bunch of fucking aliens, because I know they're going to just do the same to me if given the opportunity, maybe I would give peace a chance. See, look how rude these assholes were. They saw a strange man break into their house in the middle of the night. First thing they do is assume I'm a bad guy. I'm doing the galaxy a favor by killing you assholes. If your parents couldn't teach you proper manners, then the, then the other end of my bolt gun has to do it for you. Alright, let's see what's in your creepy ass mind. Bats that drop chicken? That's pretty suspect. Or there, or this satellite dish that leads to an unknown location. Uh, did, did those Nova people? They somehow have control of a teleporter that leads you straight to the to the avian afterlife. Are you klutz? Are you the bird person's god? Don't tell me they figured it out. They got religion right. Bird people who lived here probably found definitive proof that their religion was right. And before they could tell anyone, these guys just came in and fucking shot and killed them all. Maybe this was like a whole suicide cult. Like Jonestown. Holy fuck, this commune is pretty fucking big. I understand now why the feds just bulldozer down Waco. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure block protection was turned on, so I don't think I have that luxury. See, in all my travels across the stars, how is it that the mushroom people are the most chill? They just like to sit around in houses made of themselves with their, f with their pottery and jars. They don't really bother trying to communicate with people and they're not hostile. They just sit there and vibe. Now, nah, Rainforest is kinda generic. I'm in the mood to see something really fucked up. Something that'll fundamentally change it, change my understanding of life and the universe as I know it. Oh yeah. Something like this seems like it'll do just the trick. Yeah, no, no strange voice in my head. I've not quite considered cannibalism. What? I'm not mad. That's that's a, that's that's fucking fucking crazy talk. I'm not insane. 
Just the only one who knows what's going on. Ugh, what the fuck? And I really do have a bad habit of bringing my guys to really fucked up places, don't I? It's raining fucking blood, too! That's metal as shit here! Are you going to eat that hash brown? How about your own skin instead? Alright, listen, uh, just because you've become a cute little puppet doesn't mean I'm gonna start believing what you say. Anyway, did I get enough madness to get to the next stage of the tech tree, or, or do I have to go sunbathe down there some more? I think we'll be studying the contents of this planet for a while. 